What is up guys? Welcome back for another live today in the OU tier. Today we are going to be using a team passed to me by a good friend, Stromful, from the GBA. He's the analyst for WaiverWire. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go check out the GBA channel. Uh, so fellow analyst, he passed me this team. It's really cool. It's got a bulky Volcarona on it. And our last live, I think we used uh, Gengar, but the one right before that, we used Victini. So uh, powerful fire types in this generation in OU are so, so good and Volcarona is no exception. This thing takes hits from Metagross like it's nothing. It's so funny. Unless it's carrying uh, Zen Headbutt is the only real way that Metagross is going to damage this thing because Earthquake does like, I think, 35, 40? <laughs> and this thing has Roost. It's so funny. Uh, it, it really is able to soak up hits very well. We have a Shed Shell uh, Tapu Lele, which is actually able to break stall really easily uh, as long as you keep it healthy. And then we have uh, Defensive Mantine. We have a Swords Dance. Without Rock Polish, uh, Earthquake and Stone Edge with Rocky MZ, Landorus. It's also got Rocks on it. Uh, Scarf Garchomp and Specs Magnazone. So very solid team. We're going to hop into uh, a game. It might take me a while to find a game, actually, because I think I'm pretty high up on the ladder. Never mind. Uh, we got one almost immediately. So I'm um, looking at the matchup. Volcarona doesn't look too, too good because of the Gyarados. But uh, other than that, like it handles his team, his team decently well. I gotta weaken the Muck and the Gyarados to be able to win uh, with Volcarona. But right here, I think I'm gonna lead off with uh, Tapu Lele. It doesn't have a terrible matchup as a lead. Uh, it also counters Coco's Electric Terrain. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lead off with Lele. And I figured that he would lead with Greninja, which is kind of why I led with this as well. Now, I don't know if he is a... Um, if he is Protean. I doubt it because he has an Alolan Muck. So... I'm figuring specs, uh, so let me actually just switch out into Mantine here. Like this is one of the only leads that uh, Lele didn't co cover. It was this and uh, and Muck. So I want to get out of here. I want to test to see what he is first before I make any aggressive plays. I could just go for a Moonblast, but I don't think it's safe. Uh, his team is kind of weak to Moonblast spam, so I do want to keep this thing healthy. I don't want to risk getting flinched by Dark Pulse either. Uh, he's going to switch out into a Lolan Muck, so that's fine with me. I'm going to go out into Mantine. And uh, I'm just going to switch right out into Landorus, get up my rocks as early as possible. If his uh, Zapdos wants to come in, I'm going to hit that thing with a Continental Crush. He's going to go for the knockoff. He's not going to knock off an item. And uh, we are just going to go straight for the Stealth Rocks right here. Now, what t people typically do when they go into Gyarados is that they stay in regular uh, against Lando. But he sees that I'm carrying a Z Crystal, so he might not do that. He actually goes right back into Greninja, so that's great. Uh, I get up my rocks. And right here, I'm going to switch back out into Mantine. I don't want to risk my Landorus to a water move. He's probably just going to fire off a Dark Pulse, but Mantine can take that relatively well. As uh, he actually just goes for Gunk Shot. So revealing that he is Protean, so that's great. Uh, good to know. As that does a little bit of damage, uh, but I will be able to roost this off. Uh, also, knowing that he's Protean does help me out here. Uh, because it means that Magnazone can relatively switch in pretty well. Uh, especially on a poison move. I'm going to go for a Roost first as he does connect another Gunk Shot. He doesn't get a poison luckily. And I am going to get up uh, a lot of my health back. And then I think we just go into Magnazone here on his next one. I need to keep this thing relatively healthy. Uh, especially if I want to take on the Landorus and the Gyarados. So, uh, well I'll go for another Roost first. He does go for another Gunk. He does not get the poison once again. So this is very good. Uh, we, are <laughs> we do have a lot of survivability thanks to this Mantine right now. I'm going to go out into Mag here as he is just going to fire off another gunk shot, so that's great with me. Um, I'm going to go for a flash cannon because I expect him to go for a spike if he has it. He actually has HP fire and he fires that off. That's going to do a lot of damage, so had I gone for Volt Switch, this thing would have been dead. Uh, but now it's sitting at 6%. It will die to the next Life Orb hit, though. Uh, I'm probably just going to flash cannon again and let him take me out. Because uh, he might fire off a gunk shot as well, predicting my Mantine to come in on his HP fire, so... He goes for an Ice Beam. Okay, so that's going to work out. We are going to go down, but so is his Greninja. That's one of his biggest threats gone. That's huge. And uh, I'm going to go out into Tapu Lele now uh, as his uh, Coco comes in. So that it's going to get up its terrain first, so ours is going to nullify it, uh, making him a lot weaker. And I can just throw out a Moon Blast here. He's going to go for a Volt Switch. He's going to do a little bit of damage to us, but it's not a big deal. As long as I can get off some damage on this Muck, uh, I'm good to go. It should be Assault Vest, as we see it is. And uh, we're going to get a Special Attack Drop. Not that that matters too much. I am just going to go straight into Lando here. Not going to risk anything, as he is going to go for a Poison Jab. Does he get the Poison? No, he does not. Awesome. And I think I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance right here and uh, pressure out his entire team. Whatever wants to switch in is going to get destroyed. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. He actually chooses to stay in uh, and go for another Poison Jab. 
and he does get the poison touch this time however i am gonna knock something out here and if it is this muck then i'm free to fire off moon blasts on his team so i'm just gonna go for the continental crush right here as he is gonna switch into his own lando so this is going to take a hefty amount of damage if it's if it's defensive and it's gonna die if it's not so here we go and it does take a lot of damage, revealing that it is defensive. I can just go for an, a Stone Edge right here, and his entire team is pressured. Uh, his Muck is uh, not weakened enough, not as much as I would like. Uh, but I can go out, out into Lele here and nullify his priority if I want to. And keep my Landorus alive, which is exactly what I'm going to do, because he's definitely going to Shadow Sneak me here. So I'm just going to go for that. He's going to Sneak, it's not going to work. And now I'm going to go back into Lando on his Poison-type attack, lower his attack... And uh, then I think we can go into Volcarona, ladies and gentlemen. And we can start quivering up and uh, be a huge threat to him. Because we are physically defensive. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to quiver dance. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to go for the knockoff. He does. Does he get the poison? Uh, he gets burned, but he does not get the poison. So that is awesome for us. Uh, I'm going to go for a... I'm actually going to go for a fiery dance right here. Uh, I expected him to switch out into Gyarados, realistically. But he does choose to go for the poison jab instead. That's fine. Uh, he is not going to die to the next round of burn, so I'm just going to go for a roost here, as he should just attack, in theory. Uh, if he switches out, that's fine. That's actually great. And uh, we should be okay, because we still have the, the Scarf Garchomp in the back with Rock Slide, uh, if it's not Mega Gyarados, of course. Uh, I am just going to go for another Quiver, I believe, because his knockoff's not d actually doing anything. His Poison Jab is doing a lot more damage. It did 27% with a crit, so I should be fine to just Quiver here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So that I'm threatening his Gyarados, essentially. He goes for another uh, Poison Jab. I am now faster as well than his Tapu Koko, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, unless it's Scarfed, of course, but I don't expect it to be Scarfed. Uh, it could be, from the way he brought it in. But uh, if it's a special attacker, then it's not going to take me out. And I'm going to knock it out with a Fiery Dance, so that's awesome. We are going to go down to Poison, unfortunately. Uh, but I should be okay to bring in Tapu Lele here and just fire off a Moon Blast. I don't know if he thinks I'm Specs or what I am, but... Uh, I'm going to get rid of his Electric Terrain as soon as possible, as he is going to go out into his Gyarados. Now, even if he gets up a Dragon Dance, I can just bring in Garchomp after and knock him out. So I am just going to go for the Moon Blast here. Uh, he's forced to attack me on the following turn, so that is fine. Let's just go for the Moon Blast. We are faster, and uh, we should be able to eliminate this thing. Wow, we're already eight minutes in, really? Wow, okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I really like the team, personally. I think it fares quite well against the ladder. Nobody really expects bulky Volcarona. They switch in their mons thinking that they can take it on. He's actually going to Mega Evolve straight away. So I'm going to go for the Moonblast and knock this thing out. And uh, that's awesome. We, we take the first game. I really didn't expect him to Mega there. I don't know why he did. Maybe he thought it was choice and I was going to lock myself into a Psychic move. Uh, but no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not choice. I'm sorry, bud. Uh, we do climb up to 1763. I did drop a bit. I was in the 1800s. But I'm still pretty high up on the ladder. Uh, realistically. Let's see. How is Ro Rob so high up? Dude, stop! That's insane! Oh my god, uh, where am I? Hold on. Uh, I'm 129. Okay, that's not too bad. It's it's about where I want to be on the ladder, re realistically. I'm not the best player. I, I always say it, I'm not the best Pokemon player, but I think I'm relatively good. I'm above average, so... <coughs> Choking on my water. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna pause it, guys, and we'll be back when I get a game. Alright guys, we got one, and all I see is Volcarona food, because that Zygarde does not do enough to me. Woo! Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. I think Mantine is just always a solid lead. I do have to play around his Metagross a little bit, because it could have Thunder Punch, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that, but... I'm gonna lead off with Mantine, because Greninja seems to always be the lead, but my opponent actually leads off with Tapu Lele, so not, not bad. Uh, I do want to kind of scout for what this thing is. So I'm gonna go for a Roost turn one, to see. Fortunately, we don't have a dark type, so I can't switch into psychics if he is specs. I can't switch in well to psychics. He goes for hidden power, it does nothing. Uh, I'm not sure if that was hidden power fire, hidden power ground. I th I'm thinking fire. Uh, I'm gonna go for a toxic here. He might switch in his Lele. Uh, his Tefini, excuse me, but he's actually gonna keep in his Lele, so that's great. Uh, we are gonna get off a massive amount of damage on this thing, and if he wants to go for another Psy Shock, he's gonna run right into my Magna Zone. He's gonna go for a taunt, so that's great. And uh, he does have a ground type, so two actually. So I'm just going to go for a safe flash cannon here. He's going to go for HP fire. It's going to do a lot, but I'm going to knock out his biggest threat, being Tapu Lele. Well, it's not his biggest threat. His biggest threat is Mega Metagross, because that thing is always a threat. But I can, uh, I can deal with that. 
Like I said, I have the bulky Volcarona, so I should be fine. Brings in Greninja. Um, my Mantine is weakened now, unfortunately, so I will just have to go for Flash Cannon here. He will knock me out. But uh, even a Specs uh, Dark Pulse from a Battle Bond Greninja shouldn't be able to take out Mantine. So that's what I'm thinking, is go into Mantine here. Uh, and then just roost up. Or alternatively, I could go into Garchomp and just fire off an Earthquake. I don't really mind his... Uh, well, I kind of mind his Lando coming in. It depends on what set it is. I do want to heal up my, my Mantine at some point. I do have the Fog, so that's good. I can get rid of Hazards. One of the few teams that I have that actually has Hazard removal for some reason. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go into Chomp here. Yeah. Revealing that I'm Scarfed. Sort of. Um, <laughs> but I don't really have a choice. I'm actually going to... Mm, do I really want to play games with this Greninja right here, staring me down? Yeah, I'm going to go on into Mantine. We'll see what he does. Uh, he is going to switch out into his Landorus, so that's great. Uh, we'll find out if it has a rock move right here. If it does, it will knock me out. Uh, if it doesn't, then I get off a Free Scald. So he goes for a knockoff. Okay, so that does a little bit of damage. But if that's his only way to hit me, then I'll be able to roost off this damage. We actually get a crit right there. He has leftovers. So that's awesome. I'll be able to go for a roost right here. And uh, then I'm out of range of his Greninja again. So that's great. As long as he doesn't knock me out with like a crit. Uh, he does choose to go back into his Greninja as I roost up. So this is awesome. Uh, I get to go for a another roost right here on his Dark Pulse. Hopefully he doesn't flinch me. He does not. Okay, so now I'm out of range of two. So now I can go for Toxic. He does Dark Pulse again. It does 44 this time and he flinches me. All right. Well, that that got a little bit of a higher roll, wouldn't you say? Uh, first one did 42. Second one did 44. Okay, so... Yeah, it would have been nice if uh, he got the same roll, but obviously that didn't happen. He goes for another Dark Pulse. Uh, I did get a lot of damage off on his Lando, though, so I think Garchomp can knock it out with something. Not sure what, but uh, I'm probably just going to go for a Poison Jab, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Poison Jab, uh, as he actually does go back into Lando for some reason, because I could have easily gone for a Dragon move there. We do get the Poison, luckily, as uh, that's kind of why I went for it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into Volcarona, and I'm going to start setting up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Volk because he's defensive, right? So he's going to go for rocks. I get my Volcarona in before the rocks, so I get to go for a Quiver Dance. He's probably just going to EQ, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, as he goes for a U-turn instead, okay. Not too concerning because Greninja doesn't typically carry uh, anything too threatening. He goes into Zygarde, actually. So I'm going to go for another Quiver Dance as I'm bulky and I can beat this thing 1v1. As you guys will see. Uh, he actually goes for a Z-move, uh, which is Devastating Drake. That does a lot, but now his Z-move is, is killed off, so I can go for Roosts. Uh, as he actually goes... Oh, wow, he has E-Speed. Okay, all right, all right. So he got me on that one. Uh, that was actually quite nice. I appreciate that. That was one way to beat Volcarona. Um, Would have liked to go for the Roost on the Devastating Drake. Well, actually, no, I was faster at that point, so that really didn't matter. Uh, I can now go out into Lando. Uh, I'm probably going to lose this one, unfortunately, because he did have the Zygarde set. <laughs> Devastating Drake. That was interesting. My opponent's going to switch into his own Lando. That's fine. I'm going to go for rocks. And, uh, can't really do anything here. He's going to go for a knockoff. Um, I can't really switch anything in on that, though. So I'm going to have to let his Greninja get a kill. I'll just go for a Stone Edge and knock out his, uh, his Lando. And, uh, this is not looking good, guys. Uh, except that all of his Mons are grounded. So I can spam EQ now. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is because I expect him to be Water Shuriken uh, and not Hydro Pump, I'm going to switch into Lele. He could still have Hydro Pump, like, that's not out of the question, but that move misses, so. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go for EQ. He does have Surf. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start weakening his Finny so that I can get my Garchomp Sweet. So let's do that. Let's go for Earthquake. Uh, I will be able to take out Ash Greninja from here, I'm pretty sure. Actually, it might not be able to. After the next uh, Rock Switch, and no, it's going to do a lot. As I'm going to go for an Earthquake on his Zygarde. He does have Outrage, uh, and I don't want him knocking out my Garchomp, so I will switch into Lele here, unfortunately. I have to, as he's going to go for a Thousand Arrows. That is going to blow me back, and uh, I should be faster than this thing, though, or at least Speed Tie with it. So I will just go for a Moonblast, and... Uh, he doesn't die to the, uh, to the next Earthquake, unfortunately. But, alright, it's going to depend on what his Finny set is. If for some reason he's not carrying Moonblast, I might still be able to win with Garchomp. It's really going to depend. But uh, I am just going to fire off a Moonblast here. If he brings in his Metagross, it's fine. He puts it in range of EQ. His Greninja should now be in range of EQ as well. So he is going to bring in his Metagross. 
Uh, this is going to do some good damage. And do I keep this? No, I don't. Uh, I just go for another Moonblast. He's going to Mega Evolve. He's actually going to go for uh, what? What is he going for? Why was I faster? I'm not Scarfed. What are you? What the hell? <laughs> is he adamant? What is this? Okay, well, I'm going for an Earthquake. Because <clears throat> he can't hit me with priority for the next couple of turns. So we're going to knock out the Metagross. Hopefully he goes into Greninja and forgets that he can't hit me with priority. <laughs> that would be awesome. But uh, he's going to go out into Finny. Uh, very smart play. I'm going to go for another Earthquake. Uh, if we can crit one of the two, we might be fine. Uh, he's going to go for Moonblast, and that's not going to knock us out. Does he have leftovers? Uh, he does. All right, so we need a crit or a very, very high roll, as we do not get it, and uh, he's going to knock us out with the Falling Moonblast, so that's going to be a loss. Unfortunately, the Zygarde caught me off guard. I didn't ex expect it to be that offensive. we got a much more normal team here. Unfortunately, Volcarona cannot touch Heatran, so i got to get rid of that thing. Uh, luckily, I have five members that can do it very easily, so uh, I'm going to lead off here with... Um, with Mantine, because Greninja is just such a common lead. Like, it, this thing is ridiculous. It it, it's, it sees so much play. Um, I'm going to go for a Toxic turn one. I expect him to either U-turn. He could Quiver Dance as well, but I, I really don't see that. Uh, he is going to go out into his Tangrowth, so that's awesome. We're going to get a Toxic off on this thing. That's really nice. And uh, I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to go for a uh, switch out into Lando. He can have HP Ice. But I do want to get up my rocks as early as possible. He's going to go for a knockoff. It's not going to do anything. And I am going to get up my stealth rocks right here. As he's going to switch out into his own Lando, which is fine. And I'm going to go out into... Well, actually, I'm going to Swords Dance up. Because I should be faster on max speed. Unless he's a Scar variant. And we do get off a of Swords Dance. He goes for stealth rock. He's going to hit me with an HP Ice. Uh, but I'm going to hit him with a Continental Crush first. So that's going to do a good amount of damage. About 80%, right? Yep, 78. As he's going to go for HP Ice, it's not going to knock me out. And I'm free to go for another Stone Edge right here and knock out his Landorus. So that's uh, that's a big problem gone. His Tangrowth is now toxic, so he's kind of run out of switch-ins to Scarf Garchomp. Uh, I don't really need my Landorus anymore, so I will just go for an Earthquake as he goes for a Dark Pulse, which is fine. As uh, he's going to get the Battle Bond. But now I can go out into Garchomp. I can even go out into Magnezone if I want to, if I really, really want to. And just fire off a, uh, a Volt Switch isn't a bad play. But I think Garchomp is overall solid because I am Scarfed. Uh, I will just go for an Earthquake right here. If he brings in his Tangrowth, it's fine. Because every time he brings in Greninja after, he's bringing it closer and closer to range of where Earthquake is going to actually Oko it. Rather than to it KOing it. So he's going to bring in his Tangrowth here. I'm going to switch out into Magnezone. As he's going to go for a double in back into his Greninja. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. He's going to go for a U-turn, so that works out. Uh, if he goes back into Tangrowth, that's fine. Uh, he goes into Heatran, though, and he lets this thing take a huge hit. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so now we're looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go back into Chomp here. He seems to be like a Scarfed Heatran or something. I think he's Scarfed. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Quake. We're going to knock out his Heatran. That's awesome. And uh, his Greninja should be in range of Earthquake now. In comes Tangrowth again. Uh, I'm gonna, actually going to go out into Mantine this time. Uh, instead of going into Magnezone because he might have Quake uh, as he doubles out into his Mawile. Okay, so good play. Uh, I can appreciate that, but Mawile's strongest attack to hit Volcarona with is Sucker Punch, and that actually, well, it could be Thunder Punch as well, but Thunder Punch does 34%, guys. <laughs> Thunder Punch does 34%, so I should be alright. Um, he's probably going to play rough here. There's nothing I can really do about it. I did want to keep this Mantine healthy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So I think I just throw out a Scald here. I should be faster than his Mawile. Nope, he has a lot of speed. Okay, so yeah, he has a lot of speed. All right, um, I think just Chomp again. No, I'm going to go Volcarona. I'm going to go Volcarona, and I'm going to Roost up on his Thunder Punch. And I'm going to hope he gets burned is what I'm going to play for. Let's see. He goes for a Thunder Punch. That does 44. Okay, so I miscalc that a little bit. Uh, but I am going to go for the Quiver Dance right here. Should he stay in, uh, not only is he risking getting burned, uh, but he's also going to give me free Quivers. He's going to switch out into his Greninja, so I am plus one Spadef right now. Uh, I don't know if I can actually take an attack from this range. It's going to be close. Let me actually just calc it. Uh, he has Surf, right? Was this the guy with Surf? No. Uh, so he probably has... Uh, if it's just Water Shirk, and I knock him out, but... Uh, Greninja, 
Ash Specs versus Volcarona. Uh, Hydro Pump destroys me even if I'm at plus one. Water Shuriken, on the other hand, is a roll in my favor to live. So I will just... Um, do I conserve this? And then just bring in my Garchomp and Poison Jab on his Tangrowth switch? No, I'm going to go for Drain. He goes for Water Shuriken, so this shouldn't knock me out. Yep. Uh, we good. We good. We knock out the Greninja with a Giga Drain. And, uh, yeah. We are able to live that. In comes Feromosa though, and this is a problem because I cannot live an attack from this thing from this range. I'm too low. So yeah, this could be an issue. Um, I'm going to attempt to go for Roost. He's going to miss a high jump kick. <laughs> oh god, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, GG. Sorry. Um, yeah, he said GG first. He knew. Uh, he's going to go for high jump kick. That actually only does 33, so there was a chance that he didn't knock us out right there. Um, yeah, we're super bulky, so we were able to live that quite easily. Um, I think we were at 34 just now, so there's a chance that that high jump kick didn't kill us. So that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, Volcarona takes on Feromosa, which is really nice, because Feromosa is one of the biggest threats right now in this tier. Uh, Nihil Lego is very annoying to this team, guys. Nihil Lego is extremely annoying to this team, and I'm not looking forward to facing it. This is our fourth game. We're now 2-1, so let's see if we can go at 3-1 this episode, or if we drop to 2-2. Two two. Another opponent with a Mawile, except he's got two water types to take care, take care of my Volcarona, as well as a Nihil Lego. So that's really annoying. Um, I think just leading off, possibly Lele here is fine. Magnazone is pretty much a, a really good check to uh, Nihil Lego, and I can fire off flash cannons on his team, or I could just go for a Volt Switch. Um, yeah, I'm going to lead off with Lele. He's going to lead off with Greninja, so that's great. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Moonblast, turn one. I really don't care what he switches into. It could be Mawile, it could be anything. He's actually a Gunk Shot variant, and he misses, unfortunately, for him. And uh, I'm going to get off some damage on this Greninja, and I'm going to switch out into Magnazone right here as he chooses to go for a spike okay so uh he's probably gonna go for hp fire now so i'm actually gonna go for a volt switch as he does go for hp fire that's gonna uh lower me quite a bit but getting rid of this greninja is always nice and uh, that thing is dealt with and now what i can do is go straight out into my landorus uh, if i want to i kind of want to go into mantine though to bait in the um the nihil lego or the magnazone yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into mantine <clears throat> I'm going to bait in the Magnazone. I could also bait in the uh, the Mawile, realistically. It depends on if it's Thunder Punch or not. He brings in his Gyarados. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for a Toxic as he goes for Dragon Dance. He's probably Sky Strike because he's Mega Mawile, right? So I'm going to sack off my Magnazone at this point on his Sky Strike. Yep, there it is. And now he's just got Waterfall to hit me with, so uh, he can go for a plus two fly on anything, however, so it's kind of risky. He can also go for a Waterfall. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go into Lando, I'm going to lower his attack, and then I'm going to switch out into Mantine. He might think I'm Scarfed, so he might want to switch out on a Stone Edge, potentially. Uh, he's going to go for a Bounce, okay, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go for a... I can't believe he went for Bounce on Lando. That's strange. Uh, I'm gonna go for Roost. This is gonna do a good amount of damage, and I'm gonna get paralyzed, but I do get off the Roost, so I think I'm okay. Uh, and I'm gonna go for a Defog here, because he has to bounce to hit me. He can't go for anything else. So he's gonna go out into his Magnazone. I'm gonna get off this Defog, which is nice, and uh, I think I'm just gonna stay in on a potential electric move, because I don't want my Landorus to take a Flash Cannon, because it's really, really good right now, because I can still lower the attack of the Gyarados, the Mawile, and his own Lando. Plus, if his Nail Lego's Scarfed, it can't lock itself into a poison move as long as Landorus is around. Uh, as long as Garchomp is around too as well, but I'm going to go for a Scald. He does go for a Flash Cannon. If he is choice, now he has to switch into a Scald as well, which is really good. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Scald. He's going to go for another Flash Cannon, revealing that he is more than likely ch a choice. And uh, we are going to get a burn on this thing. I'm going to go for Roost now. And we essentially just took out his Magnazone, so... He's going to go into his Gyarados. I'm going to go for another Roost. Uh, again, the only move he has to hit me with is Bounce, and my opponent is going to forfeit. So that's going to be a good game. Uh, able to outplay a lot of his turns right there. Uh, that was really nice. Uh, that, that's kind of how this defensive core plays around. you got to make a lot of predictions, but it's still a very solid team. Uh, for any of you that want to use it, 
make sure to check out the description down below. I'll leave a link to the pace bin so you guys can uh, can take a a shot with the, with the team. Uh, this is one of the teams that brought me pretty high up on the ladder. It was this one and the uh, the Gengar one that I showed you guys last week. And uh, no, this team is awesome. Big th shout outs to Stromful. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that in the uh, description down below as well if you guys want to go check him out. Uh, he's also, like I said, a, a GBA analyst for Waiver Wire, uh, the episode that comes out on Mondays, if I'm not mistaken. It was out yesterday, so go, and, go back and check that out uh, if you're into the GBA, the Global Battle Association, the original Draft League format. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up guys. If you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later. Ciao